What's up guys? My name is Olivia, also known as Jetlag Live, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, let me clue you in here with <laughs> where I am. I'm currently converting a 2003 Ford E150 cargo van into a tiny home on wheels. Um, and I'm doing that with my boyfriend who is at work right now. So I'm going to try and tackle what took us two hours of planning. And I don't even think we had a breakthrough. Um, I'm going to give it a shot and put up the wall of the van. Um, <laughs> screwed. Um, like I said, we spent two hours going back and forth on the best way to do this. It's very difficult because the van is curved and you also have to have furring strips so you can secure what we're going to use, which is beadboard, um, up against the walls. And then another thing that's difficult is um, we have a lot of windows. So this is a cargo van, but it's similar to a passenger van with all of the windows that are in the van. I've got, which by the way, I have to get tinted, which are which is not gonna be cheap. But anyway, sorry. Um, so that's another thing that's difficult. We have to curve around these windows, fit the beadboard, which I think is gonna be the best um, type of wall to use and just lastly I think it's very challenging because it's not a lot of YouTube videos that you can watch because that's what I do that's how I did the flooring that's how I did the ceiling that's how I did the fan um, you can't there's nobody that has like your specific van and your specific desire or like your specific needs in their build. So it's really difficult to find an E150 with all these windows that's doing beadboard. Um, you know what I mean? So a lot of challenges in trying to get this wall up, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna give it my best shot and let's see what we can get done today. Cause for once, I'm not gonna underestimate. This is gonna take a few days. <laughs> let's do it. Believe it or not, these things are the most important thing right now, they are strategic measurements of like when to stop the thing down there, the beadboard, when to stop it down there. And I'm going to transfer these what look like legitimate hieroglyphics and transfer them onto this. I traced out the wheel well. Um, but I also have to trace out the gas tank too, so... <laughs> Let's go! dry fit I have did you just bang your <laughs> um we just did a dry fit I cut out the windows we've got this little right here the only reason it's not back is because I didn't carve out the gas tank yet but look at that very proud I think we're also gonna do some sort of like trim or edging because this is a raw edge I don't think it looks the best um but wow, once this is like fit there, we could get like a little shelf. Love. All right, let's cut the gas tank now. This is day two. Where we left off was I got this cut out nice and, I mean, it's pretty perfect so far. <laughs> Very <laughs> humble of you. I know. It's actually not perfect at all. There are several flaws, including the edge, but I think we're going to like cap it. Um, we are going to secure it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it over with. Let's do, yeah, let's do it. We're exhausted. We went to the beach earlier, so. Tired. All right, let's do it.
a cool little rough looking template, but it's to help us cut out this weird shaped section um, along the side there. But we did get that side screwed in. I know the screws are so like not in line with each other. There is a slight curve to the van, um, like it's at an angle, but we're gonna get those kind of like rough edges covered with a, like a capping, make it look a little bit better. Um, but for now, let's cut some stuff. Test her out. I'm exhausted. <laughs> nice handprints you got on your butt there. Oh god. Yay! Look, Seth! It's beautiful! Okay, so right there, these cross lines are perfectly lined up. So. Oh, looks like one sheet from here. What? Looks like one sheet? Sweet! Uh, Alrighty, folks! Look at that wall. She looks good. All right, guys, Seth just popped the lights on so we could see better, but look at our wall. We did it. Looks so good. Um, the only issue is this right here, but we're going to attach a furring strip to kind of push this in um, down at the bottom and then do some caulking just to seal that up. But wow, night and day. Um, and then... If you're curious, up top, we're planning on doing a cedar plank extension um, just to kind of meet the ceiling and that and then cover up those wires too. But wow, are you so, are you so in love? Yes. It's I'm awesome. It is awesome. All righty, y'all. This is our, whoa. <laughs> we still have more to do. It's not like we're done, um, but it's quite the project. So I'm just going to leave you guys with this video right here showing us completing, somewhat completing, our wall in our van. I love it. Um, just a little recap. We used eight foot by four foot beadboard sheets from Lowe's. They were 22 bucks each and we got two. Um, I think we'll have just enough to do the other side where the camera is right now um, for our storage unit and maybe even on the door too for like aesthetic things. Um, and if you're worried about these guys, I'm planning on uh, covering those up and making them cuter. Although the bed is going to be right here and it'll cover those. But guys, I am very happy to be done with this. <laughs> and the way that it looks. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below and make sure you subscribe for all of our van build videos and adventures soon to come right here on the Jet Lag Live channel. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.